Welcome to the vCenter Server feature demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to backup and restore a vCenter Server Appliance 6.7. The Platform Services Controller and vCenter Server can each be backed up using the built-in file-based backup solution in the VMware vSphere Appliance Management Interface on port 5480. Let's begin by logging into the VMware vSphere Appliance Management Interface of the vCenter Server Appliance or the Platform Services Controller that needs to be backed up. In this demo, we will be logging into the vCenter Server Appliance Management Interface. Once logged into the VMware vSphere Appliance Management Interface, there is a dedicated Backup tab. After clicking on the Backup tab, we see the newly added Backup Scheduler. To schedule a backup, click on the Configure button in the top right. Next, enter the backup location, followed by the backup destination credentials. Then select how often the backup should occur and when. Another new backup feature is retention. We select the number of vCenter server appliance backups, which will be stored on the backup destination. Click Create to complete the backup schedule wizard. The backup schedule configuration is available on the main backup page, from where we can edit, delete, or disable. After the backup job is complete, the backup information is stored in the Activity section under the Backup Schedule. The backup destination will contain the necessary files to restore the vCenter Server Appliance or Platform Services Controller when needed. In case a restore of a vCenter Server Appliance or Platform Services Controller is needed, first mount the vCenter Server Appliance ISO that was initially used during deployment. Select Restore from the vCenter Server Appliance Installer to start the vCenter Server Appliance Restore process. Next, enter the location of the backup destination using the protocol, address of the backup destination and backup folder, followed by the backup destination credentials. A new Backup Archives browser is launched, allowing you to view and select any of the available backups. Here the backups are sorted by scheduled or manual, version, and timestamp. Select the backup and review the backup information. Provide the Fully Qualified Domain Name, or FQDN, of the vSphere ESXi host or Management vCenter server as the restore destination. Provide the destination folder and compute resource. Provide a VM name, or inventory name, for the vCenter server appliance. This VM name can be a new name from the previous or the same. If the same VM name is used, then the previous vCenter server appliance will need to be removed from inventory prior or renamed. Enter a secure password. Provide the new appliance size, which must be the same or greater from the original. Select the data store to deploy to and review the network settings. The network settings can be changed, except for the fully qualified domain name, which is restored as part of the vCenter server appliance's identity. Click Finish to start the appliance deployment. After the appliance has been deployed, it is now time to configure and restore from backup. The vSphere single sign-on credentials are required for verification during this step. Review the backup and restore details from the summary. Click on Finish to start the restore process. A warning is displayed that once the restore process is started, it cannot be paused or stopped. Click OK to continue. The installer will start the restore process. The restore of the vCenter Server Appliance 6.7 has completed. Click on the link provided by the installer to launch the Getting Started page, or click Close to launch the VMware Appliance Management Interface. We have now successfully restored our vCenter Server Appliance. This concludes this video on how to backup and restore the vCenter Server Appliance 6.7. Thank you.